It's Breakfast with Rima on BBC Radio Leeds. And we're going to talk now about a documentary film called Hostile. It's about the UK's hostile environment, immigration laws and their impact on our migrant communities. It's made by Sunita Gale, who joins me now. Morning, Sunita. Morning, Rima. Thank you so much for, for spending some time with us this morning. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Now, this is um, a really interesting documentary. Um, I've what I've seen bits of it, Sunita. I'm yet to watch the full thing, but give us an idea of of what it's about. Well, hostile. Uh, really, it's in the name. Hostile is about the hostile environment in the UK, and the hostile environment exists. It's very real. It's a set of policies put in place by successive governments over several decades to really make life so unbearable for migrants living here or coming here, they either get deported or they voluntarily leave. So the film Hostile explores that narrative, but it also explores it via the lives of individuals that are suffering from these hostile policies. Mm, And I, and I, I said that I hadn't watched the whole film, and I think it's important to say that because the bits that I have seen, they almost sort of shook me. Sunita, some of the things that I that I saw, and, and the, some of the, some of it just made me think very differently about about the the immigration and, and about you know what human people actually go through. You know, we call them immigrants, we call them refugees, asylum seekers. These are people. Absolutely, they are people, and people that shouldn't be seen in economic value. People that shouldn't be seen because of their, where they come from. We are all humans. We are all people. We are all one nation, you know, um, and, and that's the frightening and upsetting thing about all of this is the treatment of human beings and the, the effect that this is having on people's lives and humanity in general. So, yeah, I mean, the film focuses on four individuals that are suffering from hostile policies, you know, an NHS worker, a person that suffered from the Windrush scandal, individuals that are helping people with no recourse to public funds, and then international students that came here to study here only to find themselves subject to hostile policies. So you're right, it's shocking and upsetting, um, definitely. Uh, at what point did you think to yourself, because are you are you a filmmaker, Sunita? Is that what you do day to day? I do now, yes. I mean, I, 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 I'm I a mother of two. I'm in my late 40s. I came to filmmaking late. Mm. I'm British Asian. Um, I'm from uh, Sikh parents. I'm, I'm Indian. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a fil- filmmaker full time. And, and since making Hostile, it's given me the ambition to continue making films that, that sort of challenge you know, policy, legislation, law, and and continue to put this narrative out there to highlight issues around subjects that people just don't know about, mm. or they know about it, but they don't know the impact it's having on everyday people's lives. This is a brilliant thing that since this film, you know, you've been able to jump right in, dive right in, become a filmmaker uh, full time, because something like something like this that comes out you imagine that it's stuff that we 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 sort of have an idea about but I mean it's been received so incredibly well the Guardian gave it four stars Uh, Morningstar gave it four stars four stars on uh, Time Out as well 100% on Rotten Tomatoes what is that like when you put something like this into the world and it's received like that? You know when we were making Hostile we knew we were making something really important but because I was caught in the filmmaking process And I didn't really come up or out for air very much. I didn't realise what and how impactful this film could potentially be. And it was only when I had my Rain Dance premiere and it was sold out. And then we got into the British Independent Film Awards and then the BAFTAs and I was long listed. And then when Picture House picked it up in January and then I went on this tour and I'm still on that tour. It's been it's been nearly a year since Hostile came into the world. And it's going to probably be another year until it's it's kind of out of cinemas. I've realized that the public, people, our community, our country really resonated with these stories. And these are people not just from the Black and Asian community. These are people from working, white class communities, middle class communities, upper class, all different demographics, Europeans, uh, people from all over the world that have seen this film in this country. And now I'm traveling to Europe. I'm going, to, I'm traveling remotely to America. It's selling in Australia, in New Zealand, in the US. So it's it's just incredible to see the impact that Hostile's having. And I think the reason why it's having that impact, Rima, is that people just didn't know 
the the sort of effect that this was having on individuals and something that's so inaccessible like um, home office policy became accessible Mm -hmm. in terms of having it as a medium through film so people could see it with their eyes wow this heavily paperworked kind of industry which is the home office has now come to my screen and is accessible to me and I can feel it I can see it and I can hear it and I think that's why it's had so much impact really. Sunita, what would you say to someone who's listening now? And we and we must, you know, face this is that immigration in our country, as it is in lots of countries in the West and in Europe, it's a hugely divisive issue. People vote just on that as being their main point um, a lot of the time. What would you say to someone that says to you, actually, um, there should be a hostile environment for people seeking to enter the country? I think what I would say is that what I've learned on this journey of being out there in the world with hostile is that we were all once immigrants. We were all once working class and we were all once poor. If we go back a few generations, we are, what is British? What is being English? You know, you go back generations, you might have come from Ireland, you might have come from America, you might have come from any country. And so really, our ancestors were the people, the very people that we're turning away now, those were our ancestors. The very people that are suffering from this cost of living crisis, the working people of our country that deserve so much more were our ancestors. They were the people that fought for us, no matter what colour we are, no matter what race we are, no matter what class we are. We were all poor once. And I think if we think about that, we might have some more empathy for what's happening now. I mean, we want a society that's inclusive. We want a society where those that are suffering are getting the right help. I want a society where the people that keep this country moving, which are the working people, the working classes, you know, give them the benefits that they so deserve. And those people that are coming here, they're here to build our country, not to tear our country down. I mean, my I come from a refugee mum. She was a survivor of the partition of India and Pakistan. Mm. She came here and she had 10 children, married my father. We, most of us have had mixed marriages and we have contributed culturally economically to this society so you know to think about that for a minute we we might we might have more empathy if we think like that um so that's really what i'm looking for that's the message of hostile really Sunita, for anyone listening, I'm sure there are lots of people listening right now thinking, oh, I've got to watch this then. Maybe I need to have a look at what what this is all about. Where can we see Hostile? Well, if you go to our website, www.hostiledocumentary.com, it's got a listings of all of the the cinema um, releases, all of the places you can see it in cinema. It's also got all of the places you can see it online. Um, It's currently on the BFI player in this country, so you can access that. Um, And if you follow us at Hostile Doc on Instagram and Twitter, you can catch up with all the latest news there. Sunita, thank you so much for being here. How interesting, how fascinating um, and what a thing to put out into the world. Sunita Gale, the um, filmmaker, she's made a documentary film called Hostile. It's been received brilliantly. You can go and find it um, online. Like she said, go and find it online and go and have a look and see where you can see it.